Hello, I'm Kartike Kator, an AWS Solutions Architect. Today, I'll guide you through transferring data seamlessly from Google BigQuery to Amazon S3 using Amazon AppFlow. Amazon AppFlow is a fully managed integration service that enables you to securely transfer data between software as a service, applications like Google BigQuery, Salesforce, Marketo, Slack, and ServiceNow and AWS services like Amazon S3 and Amazon Redshift in just a few clicks. With AppFlow, you can accomplish this without writing a single line of code. Let's dive into the reference architecture of what we'll build today. We will leverage Amazon AppFlow to connect to Google BigQuery instance and securely move data into Amazon S3 and furthermore we'll analyze it using Amazon Athena. Now join me on the AWS console as we build the solution step by step. First, we'll go to the service Amazon AppFlow. Once you're at the service, we'll first create the connection. To do so, go to the hamburger button here and go to connections. This is a physical link between Amazon AppFlow and your application. We'll select Google BigQuery and establish a connection. To do so, provide a name to your connection. And then you provide your credentials, which is going to be a client ID and the client secret. And then click connect. This will guide you through logging into your Google BigQuery application and installing the AppFlow embedded login application for secure communication. Once the connection is set up, we can move on creating our first flow. So in the AWS console, navigate to flows and then create flow. Provide a name to your flow. And then you have the option to encrypt your data. We'll give it as default using AWS KMS key. We'll, you have the option to add tags. Let's go to the next screen. Here you have the option to, to provide your source information. So that will be Google BigQuery and the connector we just created in the previous step. step. Next, we'll select the Google BigQuery object as table under this project is BigQuery data source and then the database is health layer and we'll select the table as allergies. In the next section, we'll provide a destination detail to import this data into. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Amazon S3 and I've already created the bucket ahead. We'll provide a prefix as raw and then there are optional settings such as setting up the glue data catalog. To do so, you have to select an IAM role which has access to the S3 bucket. You provide a database. I'm going to select pre-built database, healthcare, and a prefix to your table. In the next section, you have the option to select the file format setting. We'll leave it default as JSON. And in the next section, you are allowed to provide a trigger whether it's a run on demand or run on a specific schedule. We'll select run on demand and go to the next step. In this section, you have the option to select the field mapping between source to destination. For this dimension, we'll select map all fields directly. And then in here, you also have the option to select partitioning and aggregation setting as well as the validations. We'll leave this as default and go to next screen. Here, you have the option to add up to 10 filters We'll leave this as default as well. And then in the next screen where you can preview all the settings you have defined and create the flow. Once the flow is created, you can run the flow and you will see a notification that this flow has started to execute running in the running state. And it will provide a unique execution ID for this flow. And now you can see that this flow was completed in less than eight seconds and process 794 records into this S3 bucket. If you go to this S3 bucket, you will see that this data has been organized neatly and partitioned with schema, the execution ID, and the date when it was executed. Now, to next anal to analyze this data, we'll go to Amazon Athena in a new tab. And in the Athena, we'll select the database as healthcare, and then we'll query the table which we just created through our flow. And here you can see the results. So in just a few steps, we have demonstrated how Amazon AppFlow can efficiently move data from Google BigQuery to Amazon S3, all without the need of extensive coding. 
Thank you for joining me on this demonstration.